well, hasn't it been a crazy year? But it finished on a pretty good note here because a friend of mine fell in love and got married. And he asked me to cover his wedding. When I asked his partner what sort of photographs she liked, she said, I like black and white and sepia, which just blew me away because I love shooting in black and white. And uh, sepia is easy, no worries. So I was able to cover their event. I used uh, film simulation bracketing in the Fuji systems. So the three choices I had was uh, Eterna, Acros and Sepia. So all the photos I took were bracketed in those film simulations. And I was able to use a lot of them straight out of the camera for the final job. So it really was a bit of a Fujifilm wedding because I used my new X-S10 with the uh, Viltrox 33mm f1.4 on that, which did really well. I used the X-T2 with the Fujifilm XF 50mm f2 prime lens. Also used my XE3 with the Fujifilm XF 16mm f2.8 for uh, any wide angle shots that I would need. And lastly I used my uh, X100V with its fixed 35mm equivalent lens on it. I did take a couple of extra lenses along as well, but I didn't use them. I took the 56mm f1.2 along, but it didn't come out of my bag. And I also took an old uh, Helios 44.2 along, but uh, that didn't make it out of my bag either. I shot everything without changing lenses on the cameras. So yeah, it might sound a bit strange taking four cameras along to a photo shoot, but I simply didn't want to bother changing lenses. And I had the four different bodies. Uh, of course the X100V has the fixed 35mm equivalent lens on it anyway. So the others I just took a yeah, wide angle, a mid range and a bit of a longer lens along and that covered everything for the day. I was extremely happy with the performance of the Viltrox 33mm f1.4. I shot it wide open just about all the time I used that one. Focusing was nice and snappy, never had a problem with it. Some people have said the, uh, the 16mm Fujifilm Prime f2.8 is a bit of a strange lens. It's, well, 16mm, who uses that? And uh, it's a bit of an oddball, but I found it uh, extremely useful for a wide. It's not too wide like my 12mm Samyang. I did take that along, but yeah, didn't need the extra width. The 16mm covered it fine. It didn't distort. Uh, it did a great job, so I, I really... Uh, really enjoyed using that lens. And of course the 50mm Prime F2. I only used that minimally because I didn't uh, often need that longer length because it's equivalent of a 75mm. But yeah, took some shots with it with the X2 and that came in handy. So even though it was a mix of different Fuji body types, an XV, an XE, an XT and an XS, uh, they all performed quite well, handled their different lenses fine and uh, played along well together. So here's uh, some sample shots from the wedding in black and white and sepia film simulations. Now before I go on, I'm not really a wedding photographer. I try to avoid shooting weddings 
when people ask, I usually say no, because there's wedding photographers out there who run rings around me as far as uh, the, the artistry of their shots and everything, and people see these things and expect me to do the same, and I'm just not into that. And also, <laughs> to be frank, at weddings, people are so stressed out, the people you're dealing with, they can be a bit strange. So <laughs> I just don't want the hassle. I can have fun shooting other things. However, occasionally a friend will come up and ask me, and I'll think, well, fine, I know them, they know me, we'll be okay. So this wedding was a delight to shoot. My friend, the groom, asked me to uh, bring my cameras along and cover the event. The bride told me what sort of shots she liked, and that was great because they're exactly what I like shooting. But my background is some portrait work, documentary work, and street photography. So what I did was combine those three disciplines into how I shoot a wedding. So if you like that sort of thing, fine. But if you want all the arty-farty stuff uh, and extravagant setups with multiple lights and lots of assistants running around and uh, everything, well, no, go ask someone else. I don't do that. I did bring along a second with me because you can't be everywhere at once covering all angles. So I had a friend of mine come along so that sort of thing helps. Planning ahead, being able to think through the whole day uh, before you even get there, take along the gear that you need to use. So I did enjoy doing this wedding. And I think in the end the photos I was able to produce were because I was relaxed, I had my uh, eye on the game, I wasn't stressed, and it was an enjoyable time. So there you go, 2020 ended on a good note. I hope your year's been good. I hope 2021 just gets better and better. So pick up your camera, go for a walk and have fun. Bye.